course I do. Well, then tell her the truth. Tell her everything. She blames Brooke for your leaving. If she knew the real reason... That She'd hate me instead of Brooke? Thanks a lot. Janet, you were always up front with Laura. This is different. She could find out from someone else, you know. I mean, Trevor knows. Laura and Amanda are the best part of my life. That's why she needs to hear it from you. What, that I'm some lunatic slash mimic? Who decided I could step in and take over Brooke's life armed with a bottle of henna in a near-perfect memory? Janet, do it for Laura. Trash myself so Brooke can shine. Make Laura hate me so she'll want to live with Brooke again? I don't think so. Forget it. I won't do it. There you go. Now, into bed with you. You know, except for having to wear these stupid hospital gowns, I really do feel fine. You do what the doctors tell you to do. Oh, what do they know? They know you need a rest, and that's to begin with. Oh, I'm young. I can recoup in half the time. Now, you leave this place when the doctors say so, and not a minute before. You sure are bossy. Well, because I love you, you soft old thing. <laughs> and I want to see that beautiful face right there when I come back. And in the meantime, sweetheart, you have some serious thinking to do. Um, yeah. And, uh, I, I, I need a favor, Myrtle. Name it. Well, um, I was talking with my caseworker, and I need a place to stay just, just for oh, a little honey, while. you've got a place to stay. Well, but Janet's busy settling in, and she's not quite settled yet, so I was hoping that I could stay at your place. But Brooke is your real home now, honey. If they, if they make me go back there, I, I swear. Do I get any privacy? Laura, may I have a minute? I'm really tired, maybe later. Uh, but listen, um, I've got to, I've got to go back to the boutique. So you just stay there and rest. Be a good girl till I come back. Laura, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Okay, well, it said you can go. I tried. Maybe I tried a little too hard. And I think maybe I forgot what really matters. You know, I think I was so busy trying to protect you that I... I forgot to trust you. It's not the first time I've gotten the short end. I hope it's the last. I just wanted to tell you, if you don't want to live with me, you don't have to. I'm not going to... I'm not going to try and stop you from leaving. There are so few people who care for me. Why does she have to know? Why does Laura have to hate me, too? She blames Brooke because you left, and for our breakup. Well, there's got to be another way. Brooke loves Laura, Janet. I love her. Then do the right thing. Be honest with somebody that you love. Tell her the real reason that you left Pine Valley. You know, Laura, my house, it's not a prison. It just feels like one, right? You and me and Jamie, I guess I fooled myself into thinking that we were becoming a family because that was what I wanted. I don't want you to run away because of me. It's my life. If you let me, I'll try and make it up to you. Why don't you just forget it? I mean, I say we just cut our losses. Don't be angry at Pierce, okay? Because he wanted to explain all of this to you a well, long time what ago. Is there, what is there to explain? You had Mr. Chandler, and you dumped him. He, you know, Pierce had Janet, and he dumped her. And love is forever? What is that? A catchy slogan? It's just code for till somebody better comes along? Somebody who's, who's better looking or who has more money or who has the right family connections? It wasn't like that. It's always like that. Just ask Janet. I mean, you and Pierce, you guys have this hot affair, but look at Janet. What does she have? She has nothing. So if you're so sorry, why don't you go tell Janet? Laura, 
whatever you do. I just want to be a part of your life. I just want to know how you are and how you feel and what you want out of life. Losing track of you is just, it's not an option for me. Well, Janet didn't want to lose Pierce either, did she? Stuff happens. You're already gone, aren't you? I didn't know you had company. I don't. Come in. I can come back. No, please. I, I really like you to stay. I have to go anyway. Goodbye, Laura. So come on in. Get in here. Where have you been? The cabin. Or what's left of it. Actually, it looks pretty good. No lie? I held my breath as I walked through the door, thinking it was probably toasted, but once it gets cleaned up, it'll be back to normal. Like magic. It's still our... our cabin, sweetie. But the magic we carry inside us, it pours over us, and it makes us believe that anything's possible. Hey, you just heard about the fires. Laura okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. It was a close call. She had uh, some smoke inhalation, but she's she's okay. Oh, my, thank God. Mm. What is it? What's wrong? What's the matter? I've lost her. Last summer, living in the woods, meeting you, living together in the cabin. I think it was the most wonderful time of my life. How could it get any better, huh? That's limiting the possibilities. I think we need to open ourselves up to the infinite number of things that can happen in the future. To not settle for what happened in the past because there are good things still to come. Yeah, there are. We can't stay still. We have to constantly keep in motion and look for openings and sail on not too late. The, the cabin's okay and so are we. And it'll be even better this time. Sweetheart, that, that's not what I meant. Well, you said things can be great again. I was speaking of possibilities in the future, not what's behind us. When I went back to the cabin, I realized that what we shared there's gone. But we can get it back. You can't just add water and stir, Laura, and make our memories a reality. Remember last summer. Paste the pictures in a book, turn the page, and build on it. But, but it's all we have. You can't live in the past. It's wrong and unhealthy. It makes you do terrible, irrational things. Oh, come on. Terrible? Irrational? Brooke and Pierce got to you, right? They put you up to this? Laura, we've always been honest with each other. I have to tell you something. Something that may make you hate me forever. You bent over backwards to make that kid happy. Hell, next to Jamie, Laura's been your number one priority. Has she? I should have stayed away from Pierce. I should have never gotten involved with him. Oh. Oh, I didn't know that. I know you didn't. I never meant to hurt Laura. I'm sure. So what are you going to do? Stop seeing him? Pierce says that I'm overreacting to, that I'm trying to protect Laura Kirk because I lost my own Laura. Hey, 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 listen. You and I both know there's nothing you could have done to prevent that accident. And by the way, dumping Pierce isn't going to help anything. It might preserve some shred of happiness for that girl in there. What about your happiness, okay? What are you going to do, make her happy at your expense and his? Fact of life, adults need adults, and pretending otherwise is not going to help Laura with reality. Oh, and that wouldn't be responsible. No, now, no, that would it? not be responsible. And what mother, official or un, doesn't want her kid to realize that sometimes life is simply about growing up and moving on, right? He didn't want to be with Janet, he wants to be with you. Yes. Smart guy. 
The only problem is Laura is not your average underexperienced teenager. She's had, she has had more than her share of, of bad luck, maybe too much. You know about the difficulties I've had in my past. Yeah, but you, you were a different person then. You, you worked through stuff and you've changed. In prison, my therapist said I had a personality disorder. We didn't know that when things got tough and, and I felt trapped or threatened that I would revert back to the damaged part of myself hidden deep inside. So you've got jagged edges. I mean, and we all do. The, the therapist wouldn't have let you out if they didn't think you could cope. I convinced them and myself that I could. But I was wrong. And when the going got tough, I became the old Janet again. And I concocted a terrible plan. Look, I, I needed to keep getting help. I'll probably always need help. What was this terrible plan? It was a plan to steal Brooke's life. What? To pretend to be her. To replace her like I replaced my sister Natalie. What were you going to do with Brooke? Kill her? Were you going to kill her? No. I had a place to put her while I was pretending to be her. It was, it was nothing permanent. Look, it was insane. The whole plan was insane. I was insane. I just wanted things to be the way they were. With you and Pierce and I, I, I was obsessed with it. And uh, Pierce and Brooke knew this? No, Trevor figured it out and told them. They didn't even believe it at first. Why, why didn't they tell me? Brooke didn't want to hurt you. She would let you hate her rather than ruin your relationship with me. That's why, how much she cares about you. Why are you. you telling me now? Because I think you should know how much Brooke sacrificed to make you happy. Oh. You would make this whole thing up just so I wouldn't leave Brooke? No, I'm not. But I do think you should go back to Brooke. She's a good person. Make a home. Build your future. She's going to wake up and realize that she was blessed the day you walked into her life. <laughs> if only. She's going to get through this. I'm telling you, you're the best thing that ever happened to her. Oh, sorry I'm late. I'm like a new hire Hi. around here. I have to do everything to perfection. Oh, so is the baseball game still on? You bet. Good, good. How's Laura? I think she'd be a lot better if life were kinder. She's going to be okay. I'm going to go take care of her bill. Listen, um... What you said helped. Really. Thanks. Um, better change. Okay.